Girl, me need you. See you louder. She ain't no need to. Yes, she trust me. Me and no doubt her. But me can't spend two nights without her. All day, me want pull her closer. Kiss her softly. Like me supposed to. Yeah, me love. Yeah, me love. You already know what it is. You are listening to The Urban Product. It's your boy, DME. And it's your girl, Imani. And for this episode, we got a couple special guests in the studio just because Rich is not here with us. So today, we in his place, we have two very special guests, returning guests, friends of the show. Mm-hmm. We got Toyel and Sid. Hey. It's a movie. Facts. Welcome back. How y'all doing? Um, I'm good. I'm chilling. I had a very unproductive day, so this is like... <laughs> <laughs> my first time getting up i guess it's lit welcome hey i'm happy you chose us to be productive right. with you feel me right. Go ahead. how you uh, doing i'm on all cylinders man i've been working since six this morning word you know what i mean thank you for joining us as well right. hey off. probably headed to karma after this pull up on dutch you know so we're gonna talk after about you. all that yeah we're gonna talk about all go that on, imani how you doing I'm good, man. Today was went by smoothly, except for the rain. I can't stand the rain. But other than that, you know, podcast day, we here. We got Toyel and Sid here. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, no bullshit. I'd rather the rain than dying in the heat that we've had to oh go through God, the past Devin, couple no. of years. Well, now this what? rain gave me a breeze, fam. No. Once it started raining, I was like, you know what? This is no. nice. I'm able to wear a hoodie right now. No, people don't Before? know how to act in the rain. <laughs> people don't know how to drive in the rain. Yeah. Heavy and they don't know how to drive. So hard, bro. The I floor can't. Is slippery. Not with nah, that. I'm not with yeah. that at all. Yeah, I don't like it to be hot and raining because exactly. it's sticky. Mm, I feel that. Yeah, it was a lot of mm. muggy behavior this weekend, so I definitely feel that. I definitely feel that. <sighs> um, everything is going smooth with me. To update people, uh, last week got the job. Hey, yes, he did. Fuck my job. Wow, wow, wow. (laughs) Niggas know how I'm coming. Fuck my job, you feel me? But yeah, I got the job. Everything's smooth. Niggas love me over there. I'm about to get a turn. Um, Yeah, so my week has been going pretty smooth. Um, Besides the weather, I've been getting to enjoy, you know, the time I had to myself. I gotten a lot of just behind the scenes work done. Um, Merch is now available, so hit me. You feel me? And Darnell and me. Hello. Facts. Hit me for merch. We got a new collection coming out soon. And we'll make the official official announcement pretty soon. But just know we do have uh, some new merch in stock. So hit us if you want that. Um, besides that, another fabulous Tuesday in the studio. We got Jake and Kat with us on the outside, making sure we look and sound as amazing as we look and sound. Um, congrats. I want to say congrats are in order. Let me mm-hmm. say uh, to Toyel and Sif for graduating. Let's give them a hey, horn. You know, I'll yep, give them yep, mad yep, horns yep, for yep. that. Y'all Thank finished you. school. How y'all feel? All right. I feel How's better when the money's life? in my account. When the price is up, when the, with my two degrees, I feel better. With the two degrees, talk your shit. I bet Toyel, how you feeling? Yeah. Um, I feel good. Like I, I kept waiting for it to just be over, and now mm-hmm. that it's over, I'm just like, dang, what's next? I have so much free time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm also like in between jobs and trying to figure out which job I want to accept. Um, which I, my time is almost up, so I need her to even do that. I feel that. <laughs> oh, so you got offers? Well. A little mm, something, something. Okay, okay. You can't talk your shit. Your shit right. Right. We're seeing your face everywhere. You better have some offers. Okay. <laughs> Don't come. No, what's, what's so crazy is um my last interview, someone was just straight up, like, transparently, like, we already Googled you. We've seen you doing X, wow. Y, and Z. Wow. And because I had um went in for a different position to be interviewed for, and they were Lord. like, we've seen you doing X, Y, and Z. We want to offer you this position instead, which is, like, a higher position. Hey. Um, and one of them was basically just, like, we need you to help us, like, make more money because, like, oh, awesome. we have x y and z connections and so i'm just saying here like is this a sign like should i take this one but i don't know i'm debating so hey congratulations you know you got to okay. do a lot of hard work just to put yourself in that position yep. so definitely congratulations for all of that thank you, feel you. Me? um mm-hmm. how, what so what's it like finally being out of school right. y'all about to go are y'all going back this semester or y'all like done for yeah, a little bit and, uh, i'm taking like a year or two off to get my medical applications right. Yeah, and how about you? Are you taking time off too? Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to take time off, which is so crazy because like a, a year ago, I would have been like, oh no, like I'm going to be Go doing X, through. Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, now I'm kind of just weighing my options and seeing like what do I want to get into because your master's is very specific. Mm-hmm. So I want to make sure that I make the right choice with that. And once again, I'm not paying for school. I ain't pay for undergrad. I ain't paying for <laughs> grad school. So um, I'm trying to figure that out too. Word. So what's it going to be like now? How socializing for y'all? Ah, 
outside. Yeah, finally being done with school and shit like that, being on the outside in the adult world. How's socializing gonna look like? Mm. Like, what's that gonna look like for the both of y'all? Um, honestly, I'm just glad that, like, I'm in a circle of friends that, like, we're all on the same page in terms of what we're doing, where we're trying to be at in five years, ten years, mm. um, and shit like that, because it gives us more opportunities to do things. Whereas, like, if you're someone who is hanging around a whole bunch of people who ain't as motivated as you, then it's like, you want to plan a trip, now niggas got to plan the trip a whole year in advance. Mm-hmm. Like, you want to go out to eat, now niggas got to wait for a few weeks so, mm-hmm. so they get their paycheck. Like, I don't got time for that. And so <laughs> I'm just glad that, like, in terms of my social life, I'm just hanging with people who are kind of on the same page as me. Um, I guess people consider me high maintenance. Like, I like to do nice stuff. And so I'm just glad that I got friends that like to do nice stuff, too. Um, Because we can actually go out and and do stuff and not just pretend to do it on the internet. Oh, go (laughs) off. Seriously. What about you, Sid? A lot of you niggas be pretending on the internet. A lot lot of niggas be pretending on the internet. There's a lot of cappers out here. (laughs) Go off, Sid. Socially, man. We know you are. Yeah, I don't hide it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm outside. <laughs> like, I'm inside too, you know? Like, I work way more than I'm out. I can mm. tell you that. Mm. I mean, like, 50 hour weeks every mm. week. So it's like. This man said 50. Yeah, but um, outside of like partying wise and like the DJing shit, niggas are just trying to expand, you know what I mean? Different clubs, different people to work with, getting paid to be out this state, you know, all that type of shit. So, like, mm-hmm. a lot of things in the work on the back end. Um, like, we're doing, like, little pop-ups. People are, like, testing what we can do for real, who we bring out and stuff like that. So, I mean, as long as the bag is there, I'm there. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I see what's it called, the bags that are being offered to you and Nice now ever since the restrictions have been lifted. Yeah. yeah. Clubs are back and open, right? Yes, sir. How's that looking yeah. like? Depends on where you go. No bullshit. Mm. I mean, I'm, I haven't been to a club since, you know, all the restrictions have been lifted. And I don't know how long it's going to take for me to step back into that don't scene. But fun, I've seen a lot of people stepping out. So since you've been out there, you know, tell me a little bit. Of people, you know, uh, being a little too reckless. It doesn't look like normal yes. behavior outside right now. Yes. Bro, honestly, like, all right. the one big event I've seen so far was was definitely Carnival in Connecticut. They had their, they had their juve. Already? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had a juve, they had a, a paint, oh, you know what I mean? I was Trucks hip. was out, everything, yeah. You know, a lot, of, a lot of things were out, you know, but. <laughs> wow, wow. Wow. You know, I, I, I watch from Snapchat, you know, people look like they have fun, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But like, I, get, I get it, like, it's been a year and a half. You had so much pent-up energy, you know. Like, take it out however you feel, like, you feel fit. That's mm-hmm. true. I don't know, I feel like. One thing about me is this last year has, like, killed my social battery. Big facts. So when it comes down to going on, I already didn't like the club like that, just, like, being around mad people. Like, I would prefer, like, a lounge or something, I mean, like, being in a I section just around my friends. Like, even if there's a lot of people around, I just want to be around my friends. But now it's kind of just, like, people be like, oh, come to the club or come do this. And I'm like, no, like, there's <laughs> mad people there. And it's not even the pandemic. It's like, I just don't want to be around mm-hmm. mad people. Like, the only people I want to be around right now is my friends. Word. So I'm just like, no, like, I don't want to be around people. I don't want people in my face. I don't want people talking to me, asking questions, mm-hmm. trying to get my number, trying to do X, Y, Z. Like, uh, I'm tired. Were you social like that before the pandemic? Um... When I'm drunk, like when I'm drunk, right. I'm a social butterfly. Right. Like that's big. Fun. I be I be talking to everybody. Yeah. I be I be that girl in the bathroom complimenting everybody. Yeah. I like your mm-hmm. shoes. I like your hair. I like this and that. Twitter yep. and real um, life. Same. And yeah, yeah. yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. And I'm I'm very it. much like that now still. But I think I was a little bit more open to like doing that stuff. Okay. He would have to drag me out. Talk about come outside. Come do this. Come do that. And I'll be like, all right, fine. I'll go. Like if everybody be like, come on, let's go. Mm-hmm. But now I'm just like, no, I'm not doing that. Now that you mentioned that, right? Y'all went to the same college, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Did y'all know each other before college? No. Nah. So what was your first interaction? How'd y'all meet? Mm. Uh. You know what? Actually, he probably don't even remember our first interaction. Um, but we were like both RAs. Word. And we had like had our little <laughs> orientation type of thing. Um, like a light <laughs> flash before no, he but, his eyes when No, he because that. he I don't know if he's gonna know what I'm about to say, but we had our first um little meeting or whatever. Everybody had to meet who's in their building. Um and he sat down alone and they said he was in like our building and mm. so there there weren't many black people 
um, at first, like when we came, there ended up being like half staff of black people. But like during that little meeting, I didn't see many black people. Word. And so I like introduced myself like, hey, whatever. And he was just black sitting there kind of like not trying to speak. And I'm just like, go to hell. Like, <laughs> OK, like because I'm saying like, oh, whatever, because I never seen him. Yeah. Mind you, it's like I had to find out later he was a transfer. I'm like, I never seen him before on campus. He didn't mm. live on campus. So I'm just like, oh, like, um, where are you going? He's just like, like, I was a commuter. Oh. Yeah, I'm not from here. Yeah, I'm just oh. like, all right. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just go. Damn, so you was like that. Do you remember oh, that? You wasn't trying to be friendly. I remember this, right? But what people don't understand, like, I don't talk a lot. You know what I'm saying? I talk when I'm spoken to, but outside of that, I'm very observant. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if people come to me with energy, like, you also know Toyo. Toyo is mad bold. So she's going to come to you with an attitude off rip. So, like, when you come to me, I don't know you. So I'm already. I feel you. Know you know what I mean? I, I didn't have that. an attitude, though. Stop I was mad positive, and he's just. I'm not from here. Like, he was it, testing the waters. He had to yeah. see what the vibes were like first. He didn't like I that, that I was being positive. No, 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 no. That's what he needs when to pe- say. When people come to you too jittery, it throws me off. You know what I mean? Like Jittery, if, what does like, that mean? Give me an example. Like if, I know what you mean, but give me an example. If you come to me like, oh my God, hi, I'm this person. I do this, I'm the third. So You're you black, like I'm black. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not even that. But it's like, but like me already knowing that like what she's involved in on campus, right? Mm-hmm. It's now it's like, oh. You're already. That means you have to have these certain type of criteria to be able to get this position, right? So like that means you could help forward change in the school and blah blah blah. blah. I already did that in my old school. Like I was, you know, I was really so here you to get my back. Really into that. Like I, I was, but it's just like I was trying to put in the effort. I feel again. That. Like that's my work. I feel that. I respect it. Hey, and now y'all here when you transfer to Salem, like sophomore year. Twenty. Not my junior year. The junior year. Beginning of 2019. Words, yeah, I got yeah. like two years within knowing each other. Yeah. Well, the pandemic had started early 2020, and so. Oh yeah, I had it some time. Like first semester, and then going into like second of junior year, and then the pandemic started. So okay. Like, yeah. And then how the link up happened with Black Boston and Hugs and Kisses. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, so with Black Boston, I see it's what's like it called that the the fit oh, y'all got yeah, on right exactly. now. Go ahead, talk um, nice. So mm-hmm. well, Black Boston, you know, we do a lot of things around like social issues, and so May was Mental Health Awareness Month, and we have a mental health um, like advocacy team, mm-hmm. and so we were like we've been talking about doing some type of like collab or something, and because of H- hugs and kisses is like um, doing mental health awareness as well, we was like we might as well collab with them. Um, on something to help us like get some funds um, and just get some merch. Word, okay. word. Okay, I love that. I love that. Yeah. All right, so now that we got all the intro shit out of the way, now right. we can get into the main part of the podcast. Let's have Talking some fun, okay? Shit. Yeah, so everyone's back outside, right? It's been a minute since I stepped outside. I'm seeing everyone step out in their flyest of fits. I'm calling them their quarantine fits, right? Because I feel like during quarantine, a lot wow. of people just racked up in their fits. And, you know, for the day... When it was time to step out, you know, I'm going to step out looking nice. Mm-hmm. 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 Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was that, you? I got to cover my, my, my shirt. Oh, now. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just a regular tea to you now. Crazy, just right? Talk regular. nice. Send them the stimulus. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just, just La Tender sponsored me. Make sure you go check them out. You feel hey. me? Wow. Nah, talk your wow. shit. I respect mm-hmm. it. So now everyone is out um, living their dandiest life, right? Mm. I'm seeing people step out. In Seaport, right? That's just because that's the general area that I be around. I'm around Seaport very often, (laughs) right? And I'm seeing everyone step out again. You know, there's a long range. There's Mm -hmm. people that are on their first dates. Mm -hmm. There's people that are on escort dates. Um, There's people that are on, you know, we broke up. (laughs) This is our makeup date. And we might fuck after this. I've seen a lot of people stepping out in this quarantine. What I want to ask y'all to, right... Oh what is it like integrating back with the outside? Both of y'all know what I mean when I say outside, outside. But I feel like everyone's you mean outside, b- in, the outside in the streets. I don't know like, yo, about the, streets. the streets are calling. It's time to come outside. You haven't lapped the block in a minute. I don't know nothing so about that. You don't know nothing about Not the streets? Thing. Okay, let me ask another question before we get too deep into this, right? Is everyone, is anyone at this table besides me? Is anyone in a relationship or talking to someone at the moment? Correct. No. Correct. Okay. No. I'll spare you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to spare you this episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love my girl. Facts. Wait, say that one more time. I love my girl. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> <laughs> word. So you never stepped eye. Right, you, you're still inside. You never left the stoop. Amen. Fine. I'll ask Amani and Toya then. <laughs> What's it like integrating back with the outside? Like, are y'all a little hesitant? Are you just fully stepping out? Like, what's it been like since, you know, everything's really back on the outside? I'll let her go first. It made me just want to go back inside, yep. honestly, because... Yep. He is this bummy. Like, yep. I'm tired already. Uh huh. Yep. It's just, it's just annoying, especially. I feel like, I don't know, men just have a new level of audacity nowadays yes, that, so. like, I don't know where it's coming from. Like, I don't know Dang. where they're getting it from, yes. but they need to let it go. Give and me I an just example. think. Um, all right. So obviously I ain't, I ain't a Beyonce, like whatever. And but don't I still that. say this what do all humility, You're but beautiful. like don't even do that. thank you. You feel me? I'm but that's still, that's but exactly yeah, where I was about to go with this. Like obviously it's like I know I ain't like oh my goodness, but at the same time it's just like respectfully, y'all need to know where y'all fall in line and it definitely ain't in my DM because mm -hmm. y'all can't afford me, like y'all are not on my level like i just i hate when people hit me up and they be like oh you're doing this that and the third blase 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 they're not doing nothing and they still think that they are desirable like somebody that i should want like why would i now i just feel disrespected because i'm like <laughs> why why would you think that i would want to deal with you yeah why and it's like once again it's just like i still say this with all humility but it's just like you you need to be serious and really think to yourself like what exactly about me would make her want me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say they have a high level of audacity because I'm just like, that, that's not making no sense. Niggas not having um, anything to offer pretty way much. Way too confident for and I don't know what reason. expecting way too much, pretty much. Yes. Heard, heard. How about you, sis? Dev, Dev already knows. I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Niggas out here are different. They don't... Uh, Jesus. I think she said everything. I'm, I think my thing is like, Niggas don't know how to just stick to one thing and let it be that one thing. Like, if I say, okay, I want to go on a date, or if I say I want dick, that's all I want. But you doing all this extra shit, that's not what we agreed to. You mm -hmm. acting childish. Mm -hmm. I'm 23, about to be 24 years old. Act your age, bro, or get the fuck out of my face. Because mm -hmm. ain't nobody got time for it at this point. And, that, and I'm tired because at this, like, everyone's like, no, you should go out. You guys tell me, you know go out there you know try it but no when i try it, it's still not even worth it so i'm gonna wait my ass home and when my man come and get me whatever the case may be he'll come and get me but until then i'm i so you just want people yeah you just want men to do that one thing y'all agreed on and then just move on just no just be like just be about shit like because i feel it's, like it's not that simple because i feel like really honestly not. the other way I around can't. I feel like men can be all for that, but they expect women to want them to do all this other shit as well. You Annoying feel me? Well. Like, I feel like if people were um, verbally explicit in what they really wanted out of a fucking relationship, if someone was just like, yo, just want dick, just want box, mm -hmm. cool. But I think most of the time, homie might that. just want some box. But he's not trying to come off as, you know, that's all that he wants. So he tries to do some extra shit because he thinks that's what y'all want. And that's what I think might just be happening. If you but just say, yo, let's do, let's do that and, you know, keep it pushing, you might get some so better reactions. Stupid, but that's my whole point. If it's already agreed, you don't want nothing, I don't want nothing. But we want this one thing. Then it should just be that one thing. But I'm not but trying to look like a, whole a dog, bunch of extra though. Childish shit, I'm, I'm not, not trying even to look like do a dog. With you. you feel me? No one's I do telling all you to be a dog, though. Like a dog. But no one's telling you to be a dog. If it's already agreed from time, there should be no reason for that extra shit. So what do you, what do you define as childish? Like what actions would, would determine that? Asking Answering, how are you? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Expecting what? Expecting more than what we agree on? Because it's just like, all right, if I say, oh, we we just having sex, like bet. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, why aren't you answering my text? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Oh, he fell in Ooh, love. What? <laughs> like, like, what are we even talking about here? I'm just saying, here, like, mm -hmm. you're not entitled to my time or nothing Facts. of that nature because this is what we said. Like, this is not what I signed up for. And I just feel like people, even when they do this whole, oh, we're communicating, we're saying what we want beforehand, blah, 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 they be lying. Or, mm -hmm. like, people don't know how to admit 
when something changed because it's just like all right let's say two people get into a situation where they're like oh y'all y'all just having sex or whatever it is mm-hmm. and then you realize oh shit i'm, I'm catching feelings for this person they don't then be like you know what um i don't think i can move forward with this yep. because i have feelings for you unless you have feelings for me too in that case we can move forward That's but it. if not then you know i gotta get to step in mm-hmm. people don't do that and so instead they try to make you turn into someone that they want you to be instead of who who y'all said y'all was going to be for each other mm-hmm. in the in the scenario and it's like vice versa people might be like oh i'm just going with the flow i want to get to know you and then they realize no bullshit you're not all that of a person to me mm-hmm. so we could still have sex but i don't i don't want to deal with you anything. at any her. other capacity and her. they don't say that you feel me and so they just prolong the situation that's yeah. why i'm like i know so many um people who are getting into relationships after a month and two months and some people be like dang that was mad fast it was like no our generation thinks that you're supposed to be talking to somebody for six months realistically no. after like a month i be kind of know. knowing if I'm feeling you, we don't have to be together after month, but it's like, I kind of know, it's like, you know what? I could see myself going further with this person. I'll yep. be like, actually, I'm not feeling them like that. Yep. And people are honest about it. So instead, they prolong the situation and got you thinking, oh, well, maybe in six months, so it finally ask me to be my boyfriend. No, he don't want to be with you. If he wanted to be with you, it don't take, what are y'all talking about for that long? What are y'all talking about? You feel like you can learn as much as you need to learn about somebody in just a couple months? I feel like you're never going to know everything that you yeah. need to know about somebody. You could be with somebody for five and ten years. Just you're always because you're you should be constantly learning about your partner because y'all should be constantly growing as individuals and collectively. But wouldn't so, you want to be comfortable and confident in your decision rather than just hastily thinking off impulse? Nah, because then it nah. ends up being wasting time. Like, it might just, not be. It depends. Definitely like if you're don't too jump stagnant into it. on it. It's like you know what I mean. You you're rather like you're settling more than like actually moving off emotion or what you're actually feeling you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying if you're taking six months to really think like damn do i really mm-hmm. want to be with this person you if don't. it just happily like naturally happens like that that's a different story you know what yep. i mean mm-hmm. if you already went like from month one to month six like all right we're talking but now like i'm exclusively talking to you that's a whole different period you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. now it's like we're in a whole different phase oh god damn mm. the tequila bro mm. <laughs> we're in a whole different phase you know what i mean and now we're mo- progressing to something bigger than that rather than like I don't know, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I got this girl with me, da 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 da, and she's cool, but like, I don't know. The fuck does that mean? If it take you six <laughs> months for you to know about me, I'm out of here. Cause I don't, <laughs> now I don't got time. No, yep. Like, it's just, you're doing too much. And obviously, once again, it depends on the circumstance. Cause it might be like the first three months, you're dating around, you're dating other people. And then mm-hmm. the next three months, it's like, we're actually exclusively dating mm-hmm. each other. But I'm talking about once y'all start exclusively Hopefully. dealing with each other only and getting to know each other only, mm-hmm. like, seriously, like, y'all are hanging out, y'all are doing things, y'all learned about each other. I'm not about to just be doing that for six months because I'm not a half-assed lover. You feel me? Like, I can't be in a situation where I'm trying not to give too much or too little Mm -hmm. because I don't want to try to be like your girlfriend because I'm not your girlfriend yet. But I don't want to give nothing because then you're going to think that there is nothing for me to give. And so it's just like... I need to know what we're doing what mm-hmm. so that I could know how much energy I should be putting into this. And respectfully, after three months of us talking, you if know. you still haven't said nothing, I'm about to be dating other people. Like that's I'm, not and that's like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be just talking to you for six months, like, cause you're wasting my time. And after the six months, you might be like, oh, actually, I don't like you like that. Now look at me. That is with my of, with my stupid that's face. A on. lot of time wasted. That is a fact. I mean, honestly. I was just thinking about my past, and I don't think I've ever been in anything that lasted in, like, six months. You feel me? Uh, so I definitely get how six months is a long-ass time. Man. That's half of a year. Yeah, nah, that, that's half of a what year. What are we talking about? But in general, There's, Y'all are definitely something in by general, the end yeah. of that six months. There's no way at the end oh, that shit's still up in the air. You definitely know within like the six know months right if you're away, in something. Though. I feel yeah. like y'all niggas, like, y'all know when you talk to a, a shorty, y'all know what it is. So when niggas be playing games like, oh, like, I'm just trying to. No, nigga, you already, you know what you want with me. Just say what you want from time. With Don't play chest. games. Like, yeah. if you just want poom for me, then let it be known. But if you want a whole relationship, then throw the energy. And you trust me, if you throw the energy... It will come back towards you. That's oh, what niggas don't energy. understand. Because that's another thing. Because it'd be like, dudes would be like, oh, yeah, I want you on this and that. Like, I'm, I want somebody like, you need to show out. 
you need to show out. You need to do all the things like radio I, outside the crib. Yes, like Tracks. you need to be doing. <laughs> if a nigga does that, <laughs> all he's the elite. Things. He's a Don't play. Beatbox. He's elite. I'm like now you're. I'm like listen respectfully. You just made yourself number five mm-hmm. to number one. Like look at that. <laughs> Easy. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like some people, and it's not even about money because. It's during not. this pandemic, I have never been on social media as much as I have during this pandemic. Word. And during this pandemic, I have been seeing, oh, talk about $200 dates or girls and bills, this and that. And I'm just like, first of all, so when you serious. really like someone, yeah. you don't even got to spend that much money. It's yeah. not even, it's really not that hard. It's and obviously, yep. it depends on what that person's love language is. But it's just like me, I, I love just people who are very thoughtful. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, you didn't have to spend, like, I would rather you i seen these cute little books um people are like making little books of 10 reasons why they like like each other or whatever oh, the book cute. is only Good like times. it's like 30 dollars to make but it's mad sweet and it's like i would have rather taken that under i um, mean over like a, a chanel bag yeah. and so i'm just like that's something thoughtful that i would appreciate and i feel like so many people go oh it's it's hard to be romantic when you don't have that much money it's like no it's not i have a whole list of dates under 50 dollars mm-hmm not in very cute very fun Mm -hmm. and so i'm just like people are not really putting in energy or being thoughtful being creative and that's why everything has become so monetary in our generation with oh he need to be doing this he need to be doing that when realistically it's just like especially in massachusetts i'm like i don't know what rich niggas y'all think y'all are about me (laughs) Mm -hmm. in in massachusetts (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't know unless y'all are in Seaport meeting people in the financial district, but it's like I don't know where y'all are meeting people with fast money out here. It's it's slow. not realistic. Very slow. So be realistic. Honestly, the pandemic. I feel like it was already like that from time. I feel like the pandemic just like made niggas mad lazy with certain shit. So like people were already like people were probably mad lonely. All people had to do was send a DM and instant connection. You never know. So at this point, I don't know. Any nigga that comes up to me just needs to like actually bring that energy and not try to be a Rico Suave or be on some childish shit. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me you want me to come out of state if you're not paying for my plane ticket. Respectfully. Mm-hmm. Respectfully. Don't tell me you want me to come to your house if you're not paying for my Uber. You're not picking me up. Oh, you're not paying for my drive? gas. What? Oh, okay, I was she does drive. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but what if you drive? You said She's talking about the pandemic being niggas drive. lazy. You drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'm just saying, like, in general, like, Ooh, it's, it's the gesture. You feel yeah, me? No, feel like, you. it's the gesture. Especially when you pressing people, like, oh, come do this with me, yeah, come do that with me. Like, take initiative. Take initiative. Oh, people, there have, there have been so many dudes <laughs> that. They'll be like, oh, you know, I want to take you out. And I'll be like, okay, okay so we can go. They be, like, they be like, where you want to go? Blocked. Oh, my God. I hate when niggas say bye. that shit. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. I don't have right. time. Right, right, right. It's not hard, Devin. <laughs> what no, do you I know mean, it's not where do you want to go? But in, the, like, in the reverse, yo, though. what if I love shit <laughs> no, that you don't, do don't that, fuck with? No, don't do that, because we will go hard. No, 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 no. What if not I take not you even to the fire spot, right? in my opinion? Say I'm talking to my girl, right? I like that type of food. She'll be like, I want to go out to eat. Where do you want to go out to eat? Because you want to go out to eat. But that's different, and that's, that's your different. girl. But it's just like, all right, let me put that's it into, let me put so into perspective, different. right? But, let me but, put it into perspective. Why don't you know where you want to go? <laughs> okay, we're not going to we're not going to go into that <laughs> because we but just you don't know. Suggested no, it. no, Mommy, you don't, don't know. That you the one who suggested it. How you have an idea in your mind and didn't have the idea the full way through? And I'm that's, saying that because it's just like in the reverse. You guys are saying two different. Yeah, you're saying two different things. In the reverse. If oh. we go to them and say we want to go out to eat, we should know what we're going to eat. But that's not what she's saying. If no, I know, I'm hip, I'm hip. Oh, okay. I just, he, he, oh, he was just no. asking the question that, that, he, just that, that he's yet to get no, an answer to. I just I'll never see know. You, brother. Nobody I, answered this question. Like, it depends because it's like, <laughs> I just <laughs> never know. I said it. I just never and know. And I'm not, I, I don't ask niggas on dates. So that's like yeah, another thing because it's just like, I'm not. If, if it's like, this is my man, then it's like, all right, I'm going to be like, oh, yo, what are you doing? I'm hungry. That's different. Is that but your way like, of asking him on a date? I'm hungry. Um, no, I'm talking about if I'm if I'm if with someone. Like, okay, I'm, I'm like sure. I'm I'm hungry. No, no, that's some God. people's way of asking. Um, <laughs> Yo, no, no, because I feel like there's a difference between like, do you want to go out to? Because like, if I'm just like I'm hungry, I might be like, I just want to go get get a burrito. Like, yeah. that's not you feel me. Yeah. But 
If, you if you're like out. saying, oh, I'm trying to take you out, I don't want you to be talking about what are you doing. It's like, I understand you might be like, oh, well, what if you don't like what I like? But that's the whole point of being observant. Like mm-hmm. one time I was dealing with this dude. I ain't really like him. Oh. Um, But I was, I was, I was trying to, I was really <laughs> Yo, trying to give him a chance. I was really trying to give him a chance to, mm, him to a chance. just, yeah. to just see if I was just being that way. Cause I also know that like I was emotionally unavailable for a, a long time. Um, and so I went a few dates with him or whatever and but he was listening to me during the dates like mm-hmm. what I would say what I like and all that stuff and I always kept talking about how I really want to go on a picnic and so mm-hmm. he ended up taking me on a picnic not only did That's he nice. take me on a picnic but he brought my favorite wine hey. as he should you feel me like the food he brought like I'm very into like what I eat like my health like I don't eat meat like he was just very um he was just very strategic and very mm-hmm. intentional with what Put he brought on the date and that's why i'm just like men need to be like that mm-hmm. unfortunately and, yeah. i ain't like him like that um oh, for other reasons and like yeah. that's unfortunate but that's like so. i just it we we didn't have that connection but he i i ugly. really appreciate it Stop. and I, I won't forget him for that <laughs> what'd you just say he's he said he was ugly what do you say? I feel like if he What'd was, she would have said it in a yeah. nice way, but I don't think that's what it was. No, I'm going to do that because if people's watching, I don't want to hear what feeling. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go off. It's okay. She didn't agree nor yeah. disagree. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Toyo yeah. did touch up on a very interesting point, and that'll lead me into my next question. Wait. Or just like scenario based topic okay and so you can participate from when you were single if you can think back th- that far ahead. I don't know how long you've been in your, in your thing for, but. <laughs> Give me a time where y'all were on a date that y'all were excited for, and then midway through, y'all were like, yo, this shit is going terrible. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> this shit is fucking terrible right now. Dang, I'm trying to think. This is another start. thing. I don't even be letting niggas take me on dates because, like I said, they're just not up to par. I can start. You need, to be, you need to be good on paper first. I got you. Before I like, deal I can with start. You. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Oh, I got you, what's I got you, up? Got you. This was this was an old story, but like, I never had my time wasted so badly before, bro. Right? It was Waste of time. So 2016, oh, right? It's my birthday, right? Niggas, niggas had a party to go to, all types of shit. You know, what I mean, I don't normally drink like that. Like back in the day, I wasn't drinking like that. So like, I made, I made the event to be like, all right, I'm about to drink today. I'm about to be with my niggas today. You know, what I mean, nothing mm. can go wrong. Everything went wrong. Wait. So I was like, all right, bro. At, at the very least, let me get some box. You feel me? At the time, I wasn't talking to nobody. You feel me? At I was the just, very least. I was nah, just playing I the field. That. I feel That's that. the bare minimum. I feel, you know, nah, you know I what feel, I mean? It's if, if it's already 1 a.m. and nothing that I wanted went right, bro, it's slow. Oh, that's you know not I just turned 18 oh, and it's slow. Yep. Nah. So I was like, nah, fuck that. Right? My car's on a donut. It's been on a donut for like two weeks at the time. I didn't have the bread to you for me to get a new tire at the time. Right? This Sounds girl had bad. been sending me mad wreck shit for like months. So I was like, you know what? Let Damn. me give you a chance, bro. Damn, what you do? Oh my god. Cause oh, his car's on I donuts. Up all the way over you? there, bro. With Forty minutes away from me. In, in, in the donut. Oh, on the donut. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Forty minutes away. I went I went to like, like Tingsboro. Ran, you know is. what I mean? Some random ass place, bro. Facts. Tings, you went all the way to just, Tings. Just for me to get there, bro. I'm thinking about at least you know, chill inside, get some food, like a little snack, like some chips, and a water. <laughs> um, um, you can't come inside, my brother. He's going to snitch on me. I'm like, nigga, I didn't even my come bro, here to do what? nothing, bro. I just came here to chill with you. I'm like, how old were you? Bro, I was 18. I just turned 18 that day. My brother is going to snitch how on me. How old was the brother? How old is the girl? Her brother was 13. <laughs> Bro, I got out the, I got out the, I got out the car, bro. I got out the car and I started walking into her crib. I was like, bro, you serious? Like, like I walked to the door, like you're dead ass. (laughs) You were in the doorway, like nigga. No way. Alright, y'all said you took the whole forty minute and like she couldn't tell you. How I give you the chance to finally get the shot off, and you airball my nigga. You told her when you were on your way, right, bro? So she let you. She let him drive. Oh, all the way over trip. there. Damn, just to dub you at the door. Just to get wasted like that, bro. I hate that for you. Hey, Damn. yo. That's a clip. No, no, no bullshit. Mm. That's a yeah, clip, I hate yo. That for you, bro. <laughs> Damn. So, yo, you say you just thought of one. What's up? Um. All right. So, 
once upon a time, mm-hmm. um, I was like talking to this dude who worked in the same building that I worked in. Like we worked in different departments, mm. um, but we worked in the same building. Um, and you know, he was cool and everything. And we were like about to go on our first actual date. We were just gonna go out like for ice cream. But because we worked in the same building, I seen him that morning or whatever, because we ended up being on the the same bus together. Um, and so we got off. He was about to go in or whatever, but he kissed me. I just had a Dunkin' Donuts bag in sand. He kissed me. His breath smelled terrible. Damn. And in my head, I'm sitting here thinking, like, maybe it's because, like, did he get, like, an everything bagel or something? Like, maybe his, <laughs> maybe he just ate, maybe he ate something that wasn't, you know, whatever. And so, whatever, I go to work. I'm still thinking about it. I, like, I told some of my coworkers, like, I don't know. Like, I really hope that it's because he ate or whatever. Cool. So then um, we ended up meeting up afterwards um, to go get the ice cream. Um, and the ice cream spot was, like, by his house. So we were, like, going to go get ice cream, go to his crib. So we were, we're on the bus once again. This is, like, before we had cars and everything. Um, we're on the bus. He's talking. His breath still stinks. We ate the ice cream and all. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm on my way to this nigga's house. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to just keep leaning over towards the bus because the little window's out. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> this is so kicking. bad. So then, just to make matters worse, we get, <laughs> we get to his house. We get to his house. We go to his room. First of all, his room, it's not, like, dirty, but there's clothes and shit everywhere. First of all, like I said, Respectfully, I'm not I'm not the bitch to play with. If your room is not clean, that means you don't respect me enough to clean to keep your room clean. You knew I was coming. You knew I was coming. Your bed your bed is not made. There's clothes on the floor. You knew I was you knew I was coming. So you just thinking that that was gonna be okay to me is a problem off rip. I feel that. Two, this nigga's like six three. Why you got his twin size bed? Oh, we are not in college. Why? <laughs> Why do you have a twin size bed? Not a twin XL. Damn, a twin son. size bed. You're mad big. Damn. Damn. I was like, <laughs> so your room's dirty. You got a twin size bed and your breath stinks. I'm fucking out of here. So I text She's all. Hot. I text five of my friends. Hey, yo, you text them? I text yeah, five so that she could get out. I said. Oh, sure you took the bus with Uber. <laughs> I told all of them, I said, bitch, you better call me in two call. minutes and you yep. better act oh, like it's okay. an emergency. Yep. That's call real. me in two minutes, act like it's an emergency. Say, I got to I gotta go now. <laughs> yep. So I, I had to text a few of my friends because, like, I don't know who's doing what. You feel me? So now they now they all calling me. So it's re- looking real realistic or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm sitting here like, bitch, what's going on? Like, what are they like? Girl, you know, da, 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 da. And so I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I got to go. Like, it's an emergency. He's like, damn, I'm sorry or whatever. So I'm, I'm fucking out of there. He's like, oh, because whatever. He had his car parked outside or whatever. He's like, oh, do you want to take me? No, the bus would be faster. I don't even know why he fucking, he took that as an answer. Because I was like, nigga, the bus ain't going to be faster. You fucking drive me. <laughs> I'm like, no, the bus would be faster. I'm like, out of here. Out of here. And then, like, later that night, he's like, everything is good. And then it's like, I ended up saying that the next morning. Like, yeah, but, like, I'm sorry, but it's just no, it's not going to work. Like. I didn't Ow. want to explain why because I'm just like, you stink? know what? Maybe <laughs> nah. Nah, I didn't, I, didn't, told him his breath nah. I didn't want to because I'm just like, if your breath was thinking all day like that, it's very much giving like holotosis or something because the breath was like, this was, it was just ridiculous. At least like leave a pack of gum next to his shit. No, what the, I feel like the, the, the nigga probably knew what type of time of he's on. You're not you gotta have your you bed smell your dirty. Breath. You're no, not facts. telling me that your breath. Oh my God, you you bro. can't smell it. Like no. you're it's not telling me that wrong. your breath stinks. Bed smell. Um, and smell like I'm backwards simply backwards not doing shit. it. And I hadn't seen him like for Rooster. like years after. And it's crazy because I seen him like last year for the first time in years. And I was still wondering because I wasn't that close. But I was wondering like I wonder if your breath still stinks. Bro, his breath still stinks. Bro, he wore a mask all. Year and you think his you breath don't stink? Your shit. Stop. You can smell your shit. That's I don't know. I don't know if he didn't brush his tongue. He got a Stop bad it. tooth. I don't know, but oh, I had to be Lord. out of there because those three like things. I was just like, no, yeah, no I need it. to respect myself and love myself. Yep, mm. that's not it. I feel that. I feel that. That's gross. Mine, you got a story? I'll say mine real quick. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Um, what you gonna call it? It was freshman year. 
Um, like Devin knows, I was not the person that y'all looking at right now. So he was a uh, RA at the time. I think it was orientation. Oh. Um, at first he was like, yeah, you know, a couple of us, we're going to go to my room. We're going to go um, watch a movie. We're going to tell you guys stories about campus stuff, stuff like that. So I pull up. First off, lights are off. No lights are on. <laughs> Nobody's in the room. I'm like, um. Oh, wait, you don't even have the LED? No worried. LED, no nothing. So I pull up in the room. I'm like, you can use oh. The campus um, event as an excuse to tell Shorty to pull up. I'm oh like, God, okay, weird. cool. I was like, is anybody going to pull up? He's like, yeah, they're about to pull up. They're just um helping their group mm. find their rooms or whatever because we all stayed over. <laughs> so I sit on the bed and I'm like, Nah, bitch, like, this ain't right. This is weird. <laughs> like, he had his own room by himself. Like, the other side, there was nothing there. It was just his shit. So mm. I'm like, no, like, something something feels bad. He's like, um, you good? You need anything? I was like, nah, I'm good. He's like, I got some water in the fridge. I was like, right, I'll take the water. He's like, you know, he's rummaging through something. I don't know what he's looking for. I'm assuming it's rubbers, right? Man's looking, man's looking. I see him texting people. He's like, all right, I'm, I'm about to be right back. I got to go grab something. He dips. Man didn't come back for 10 minutes. Then. So you're alone in his room. I was alone in his room. Doors wide open. Lights are off still. I don't know what's going on. So one of the dudes, thankfully, that I was cooling with that day, he came up. He was like, yo, you good? I'm like, yeah, but I don't know what's going on. He's like, I think man's wants to do something with you. But, like, I don't know if you're about that. I said, let me see what's up. Because. You know, I was gullible, fucking 17-year-old Imani, don't know shit about the world. So I'm like, nah, let me go. Let me just, you know, wait it out. Let me see what's going to happen. Man, come back. He put his phone down. The rubbers were right next to him. I said, this is not going. Mind you, I was a virgin at the time. So this was, and I was a church girl. I was not doing this shit. So I texted my friend. I said, yo. Come and grab me because I don't know what's going on. He was knocking on the door like a crazy person. He's like, yo, um, I got to talk to my cousin real quick. He's like, oh, that's your cousin? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got to go. Something's going on with our family real quick. Then we dip, and he was like, you good? I was like, yeah, man's really wanted to do something with me. He's like, I told you. I said, yeah, I should have listened to you. The whole semester, mm. man's was on my ass from time. Yo, so when you gonna come over, we wanna we wanna tell you some stories real quick. I was like, you know, I'm good, man. I'm just I'm just living on campus as I am, just you know, taking it in. He's like, all right, I'll, let me know when you wanna do that. <laughs> then two weeks later, what? I'm listening to um, what you call? I was listening to J Cole and I started rapping his shit out loud. He hears me, thinks that's an invitation. Man pulls up to me. He takes um. My damn ear, the the not ear, the earphone out of my ear. He's like, "Oh, you listen to J Cole too? Damn, you damn, really gotta dude, pull J. up. Cole. Like you're about the you're about the vibes." I said, "Yeah." After that, never see him again. But tell me why three days before today, man followed me on Instagram. Hey, and he has two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Next Quarantine is Next. looking real <laughs> Spicy <laughs> Bye Niggas be having kids fam Niggas, Niggas be, be having, having kids, kids, kids fam with the S. It's crazy All the baddest shorties that I knew in high school got kids now That's big facts Hey sometimes no bullshit And I have no What's it called I have no problem with Young mothers and shit like that But I'm always like Yeah I get how you got pregnant. I get it. I get it. You feel me? All right. So my time, right? <laughs> my time. It was college, I believe, my junior year, right? I believe it was my junior year. Nigga, Tinder was the craze. I wasn't fucking with it. Was but good. it was, it was, if you were living on a college campus, Tinder was very popping at the time. You feel me? So I thought about it. All of my homies were doing it. It was like crazy. You didn't even have to do any type of work. It was just easy right then and there, right? So I was like, all right, let me see what, let me see what it's about, right? So I pulled up. It was the very first, first one that I was like, actually like, all right, I might be able to fuck with you. Or like, I might chill with you. All right, so what's up? So she pulled up, chilling. Everything was cool initially, right? 
And then she started talking. Oh. Now, yeah. talking to someone online versus in person it's are very different. Very different things. Very you feel different. me? You might get used to an entire personality online, yeah. but then that personality don't she match in person. Like, oh my you feel God, me? Yes, mm. Like. When you hear their voice for the first time, facts. <laughs> 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 yeah. When you see the teeth for the first time, facts. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, but um, so I yeah, I teeth. was getting, I was learning about her and you know all that shit. And then towards the end of the night, I'm also let me also preface this by saying, I'm not really into fucking with like randoms, as I say. Normally, when I interact with people, I met you sometime before, you know, before we got to that next level. So Tinder was really new with this idea of introducing randoms into your life. So I was like, all right, fuck it. So we chilled, kicked it off. By the end of the night, right, mm. she was naked on my bed. And I just looked at her. Stop. And it was great. You're my hero. I was great. But I just looked at her and I was like, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I'm sorry. I I thought I could. Wait, but wait, 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 wait. Nah, wait, wait, wait. I couldn't. Wait. I couldn't. I couldn't do this, it. This might be worse than him <laughs> because I couldn't do it. No, no, no. Yeah. You allowed Shorty uh-huh. to undress herself Facts. to the fullest capacity, and she looked great. And you said, <laughs> "Well, she looked good. She looked great." And you, and you still didn't said no. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah, well, that's worse than you. I'm sorry. Why? Why? You want to wow. know why? Because like. I learned everything I could about her, and she just, it, I don't know, like, it just, I just wasn't attracted like I thought it was going to be. You feel me? Sure. Like, normally when I'm attracted to someone that I normally know more about them before I actually end up moving, like, through, this person just yeah. fucking, like, I didn't really know him like that. So when I actually got to know them, I'm the type of person where you can look bad, but nigga, if your personality's a dub, the whole thing is a dub. Like I've seen the baddest I mean, no, people yeah. in life, and in the same type of time, they were birds. So like, you know, if if I'm not like mentally, if that mental attraction isn't there, the physical won't be enough for me. So I was just like, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I get and that. she was very understanding. She was cool. It makes sense, but like, how? But did, I'm like, nah. I don't, I don't understand trauma. how that happens, though. That, how did that? Cause if like her some, personality did not fit, how did it get to the point of her taking off her clothes? Oh well, come on! You was drinking. First, it was in that moment you, that you he drinking? realized he had huh? a change. You were drinking. Heart. I was smoking. Same thing. Yeah. Y'all Honestly. I felt bad. I felt terrible. I was like, you didn't feel that bad, bro. I felt no, terrible, but then no, like at the same time, I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. It just wasn't meant to be. And that's when I realized from that moment forward, yeah, this random shit isn't the life for me. It's not. It's not. Because, like I said, shorty could be bad, but if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. You feel me? Feel- that's why that one time I was, this whole world was new to me. So I was trying to go off just physical attraction and was trying to see, all right, let's see where we can go. Maybe something else will develop in the future. That shit just never developed. It was only physical attraction. And I was just like, yeah, that ain't enough, fam. I'm sorry. I, f- I feel like that shit is. only flies when like you do like those senior trips when like you graduate school and shit like that. Like you, oh, what happens in the Bahamas the Dominican mm-hmm. Republic stays there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like That's the only place where like, Time is so happens. short, but also so, like, you experience so much in that time where you could be like, I feel like I know you enough to do that. Like, fuck it. I'm about to just do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, if you're able to. I'm about to do it for the one time. Because if yeah. you were on vacation, you were already doing mad shit. You okay. feel me? In this instance, now nah, I was just no, chilling was in my just, apartment. Just, yeah. just bored one night. That's, like, so crazy. Because <laughs> I remember. Is he? Because you was bored. Yeah. Oh. Had you been drinking, you probably would have fucked rather than smoking. If I was drinking, I probably wouldn't have. You don't think so? Nah. Uh-huh. Cause I'm very honest when I'm when I'm drinking. Oh, so and if I wasn't feeling really. it, I would have told her how I wasn't feeling, feeling it. You feel I, me? <laughs> I feel like, cause like in my experience, like when people drink rather than smoke, you have more energy. You know what I mean? Like you're like, what's next? What's next? What's next? Like if you're smoking, Unless it's you like whiskey, you dude. really deliberate. Like mm, you be chilling. I'm I you be like, thinking mad deeply. Talk about so. Oh, like it. If fish can't see water, then can we see her? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Like just mad dumb. I'll be loving that shit though. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> be that like that. that just made me think about my freshman year. We had this mason jar, um, and we would just do wreck shit, and mm. we would write it down and put it in the mason jar, and we oh, like opened dope. that at the end of the year, and we're like, wow. All the wreck shit that you pocket. did. 
Yeah, like we had different colors. We're like, yo, y'all are out of pocket. No bullshit. That's the time to be doing that shit. Yes, it is. No it bullshit. It definitely was. And like at that time, I had I went into college in a relationship. Mm. Um, but he was like a serial cheater, and so niggas saying, well, not about yeah. the serial cheater, but I went into college he into was, a relationship. He too, was a so. serial cheater before I even went into college. Um, oh. and he continued to be a serial cheater when I got in there. Trash and when I finally cheated. like respectfully and when I finally like let it go that like end of I let it go the end of fall semester and then when I went into spring semester um pretty much all the people I was hanging around was all going through kind of similar things mm -hmm. and so we kind of came into spring semester like yo we're not gonna give a fuck about nothing like what about I just do x y and z so I'll just and wild out Oh yeah, we yeah, was bugging. <laughs> we, was, we was fucking bugging. But I learned so much about myself um, in that time period. Mm -hmm. Like I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about my body. So much about what I like. So much about what I don't like. Um, so much about people. So much about men and dating and all of that stuff. Um, and I definitely, it's like honestly, ten out of ten. I definitely recommend. I feel like people talk about like this whole stage. And obviously, like, I think back because people were like, oh, you didn't even really have a whole stage because I only dealt with like two people in that whole like time period. But at the same time, it's just like, but I learned a lot mm -hmm. just texting a lot of people and just going to parties and just doing all this different stuff. And I feel like women definitely need to have that time period where they're just learning themselves sexually, spiritually, emotionally um, before they move on to trying to be with someone mm -hmm. um because it's so important and like like i said like men they just don't have a clue nowadays so it's just like but you gotta have a clue for yourself and make sure that whoever you're dealing with follow suit don't rely on these niggas don't what don't rely on these niggas never do not because they don't have nothing never they have shouldn't. nothing that ppp didn't come through they don't even have a PPP. <laughs> they don't got nothing. No, they don't got nothing but an iPhone no and a mattress on the floor. No cash apps. Hey, the scammers were up this quarantine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Love that. I love that for them. Love that for them. Facts. You know I mean, flip Yo, the bread. This close. Mm. This close. Swing a piece. Huh? I said swing a piece of the bread. You know? Not me. I could use it. You oh. could use it. I'll grab, grab some crypto. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't going. I ain't going <laughs> to jail, know. but I'm just like, I support your business though. Mm -hmm. I take grants. <laughs> 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 but yeah i feel that well sounds like we all you know had our time experiencing some shit with you know people that's just just what i find funny and that's why i asked you that question in the beginning what's life like now that you left the college scene because obviously a college life you know was probably your time to be wreck and now after college, you got to adult and actually grow up and do all this mature shit. Hey. It's no different. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's no I feel different. like, it I mean, I feel like it's no different for you because, you know, you're part of, you know, even though you're in a relationship, you're still part of the same environment because you're in not, the nightlife scene. You feel me? So mm -hmm. you're still kind of in it. You feel me? Yeah, but bro. everyone else, they kind of moved on maybe to the next phase of their life. Bro, no, bro. Nah, you don't think no. so? Because you know why? COVID, COVID accelerated even more. Like, it's always been a thing, but like, a lot of people missed out on that last year of like, let me live my life for mm -hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? Before I have to Being go on applications and be yeah. like, oh, I wasn't at this party. Blase, blase, blase. Well, that's not me in that picture. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what wow. I mean? Like, wow. so a lot of people doing, are playing catch up now, right? So it's like, especially because, you, you know, you got your unemployment money. You're not working that much mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. You grab a couple of sections, you know, you see, see what it's like. Mm -hmm. People get caught up in it mad fast. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. um, like, nigga, I can tell you from like experience, like when I go out to events, bro, like even when it comes to like drinking and stuff, like, you feel I'm working, so it's like I don't I don't get comped for like my drinks and whatever at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Like if I do, it might be one or two, or if, like, if we get two d like drinks for the DJ, that's like one drink for me and one drink for nice. Mm. Everything after that is on me, right? So mm. if I'm going there to make money, but outside to entertain people, and everyone's like, oh, like Sid, go take a shot. Come, come, fuck with us! Like a hookah's busting, blah, 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 blah. Like, I'll be there for pictures. Mm. After that, that's it, bro. Like, unless I know you, fuck with you, like on a, on a personal level. I mean, like, I'm not looking for you. I feel that. I'm talking to the mic, like I'm talking mad generally. Like, yeah, like, go Shana, it's your birthday. I seen you on the flyer this week, but I don't know you. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? I seen you on the flyer, but I don't know. You know what I mean? 
God. My promoter uh, whispered in my ear, like, yo, budget, just say this real quick so I, you know what I mean? I get the bread for the section. Okay. <laughs> That's a bag. If I'm booked next week, sure. Yeah, you do it. That's you a bag. Do it for the bag. Yep. How are you even able to juggle fucking nightlife and all the other shit that you got going on? You say you what? Work 50 hour a week, 60 hour a week? Yeah. So around you got, this. You got, you're not doing any more work for school, right? You're like, no, done I'm, with school I'm done with school right part, now. So you just. But like, I was the same schedule with school. No cut, no cap. Like, even with COVID, like, I was just like, so how you finding time for all that shit, bro, to be honest? Nigga, I was on Zoom in the hospital, moving patients. You know what I mean? I got an AirPod in. When I get off my shift, I clock out, go to my crib, do a couple cuts, go to the club. You know what I mean? Right now? Even COVID, right now, same. It's all the same. So it was just, you work at the, ho- you work at the hospital and then yeah, you just like go straight time to management. life right afterwards? It's just time so, management, bro. Like, like, I know what I'm capable of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like... If I can save my energy through the day, like at the hospital, like you meet someone new every day, it's not like you have a lot to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I move a patient, I'm with you for 15 minutes. I can be like, oh, yeah. What's your name? This is your name. Okay, cool. Like, what do you do? If that's if the person's even like coherent, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, you could have a, they could tell you a whole story about some random shit. That'll take the whole 15 minutes. That's not a real social interaction. I'm just listening to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's very easy to do. Right. Right. I go from there. I cut hair and you feel me niggas update me about their life, whatever. Every two weeks, three weeks, whatever the rotation is that they come in, get a cut. I got my equipment already packed, so I do everything the night before. I go to the club, I link nice, you know what I mean? We drive to wherever we gotta go. You feel me? At that point it's not even working anymore. I'm just with my niggas. Mm. You know what I mean? Whether I'm with nice, whether I'm with Dutch, focus, whoever, you know what I mean, bunning. I'm what when we DJ I'm not even playing for the crowd, so it's like nigga, this is the same shit we do in my crib, just with mm. more sound. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's just really the driving that's, that kind of gets up to you. But after that, you know what I mean? Make time for my girl and then move on with my day. Word. Same shit, repeat. Word. I love hearing that. And, like, another thing that I love about these episodes, and we're going to wrap up pretty soon, but another thing I love about these episodes is the fact that both you, Sid, and you, Toyo, have been on the show before and are now back on the show. People are able to see, you know, what has happened in the time gap, you feel me? Not with Toya, I know for you, I think we spoke like maybe, a yeah, a month ago, and shit, even the gap in between then, yeah. like, hey, you graduated college, once again, gunshots for that, shit. She's making moves. Oh, no, not that, but That's yeah, for graduating yeah. college, congrats to that. <laughs> but we already know all the other shit. Mm-hmm. You still popping up on covers left and right, you know, still killing shit, you feel me? <laughs> it's just more covers now, you feel me? So definitely, wow, wow. congrats to you, and then over to Sid. I know we were talking um, earlier this year, uh, last season, and we were talking a lot about how um, you were managing nice and just how you're able to put the business together. And I now know that doing that is much more easier and much more fruitful now that, you know, restrictions are being lifted. Mm So I'm happy the audience is able to see um, where you guys are now since last being on the show so that's dope you feel me and keep doing everything that y'all doing y'all two are killing it um yeah of course of course always ride for my people all right so let's talk about new music right real quick to wrap up the end of the show so not much has come out since the last week but the releases that did come out are still important to me i don't know if y'all fuck with you know the same music i fuck with but um let me just be the one to say hey her came out with her debut album yeah. finally yeah. finally finally all right let me pull up this album real quick i'm um, let me just talk about it all right so her came out with her debut album on friday it's called back of my mind right it is 21 songs long comes at about an hour and a half Features include Ty Dolla Sign, Corday, Lil Baby, who smoked his feature, uh, Thundercat, Chris Brown, Young Blue, who smoked his, his feature, feature. Yep. Um, and then YG. We all know that's the track Slide. Mm-hmm. Um, that was an old track, but she went ahead and put that on the album. Mm-hmm. And then she also um, added more verses to that track she did with DJ Khaled that ended up on his album. Mm-hmm. Um, it was called I Can Have It All. Mm-hmm. On DJ Khaled's album, Meek was on that song. But mm-hmm. on hers album, 
she removed Meek and actually replaced it with a brand new verse. So, um, you know, definitely added more depth to that song. But, yo, I'm just happy, honestly, that her finally dropped some shit. Because I was one of the people that caught on to the Her Wave, you know, early when mm -hmm. she first dropped the mixtapes. Uh, her Volume 1, Her Volume 2. Shit, I got her somewhere on vinyl. Somewhere over here, I got that on vinyl. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I was really fucking with that shit heavy mm -hmm. when it first came out. And I was like, yo, no one is sounding like this. No one is making music like this. Mm -hmm. And then she went through her shit. Winning Grammys left yeah. and right without dropping a debut album, getting all these awards and shit. And honestly, with the music that she's producing, it's really grown folk R&B. That's how I say it. But she's our age. Yeah. And I like that type of R&B. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. new age R&B is dope where some of these niggas, you don't really even have to know how to sing in order to, you know, make great music. Wow. Wow. Don't kill me. But with her... <laughs> She can actually she sing, can sing and she can play mad she instruments. Can play mad so, instruments. Magic, man. yeah, it's mad dope music. It's mad, mad dope music. Talented. So, make sure y'all go check that out. Mm -hmm. Very dope album. Very dope album. Uh, did anybody else listen to that? I don't know if anyone else has listened to it. I just started it, but I didn't finish it. Yo, that young blue feature it's go different. I know my brother listened to that shit and it's going crazy right now. That shit go crazy, crazy. bro. That's I love her. Bad. Yeah. I remember when I saw her live in concert and. Yeah, I saw her yeah. twice in concert. Um, I remember the first time I saw her. I'm a concert guru. But um, I remember the first time I saw her, um, she she was still hiding behind the glasses and not really showing much of her face, which I love the fact that she I shows her, her face fully rip. now. I love I love it. But, um, yeah, back in the day when rumors around going around about what her name might be, and it is Gabby Wilson, but I remember seeing her in person. I was maybe this close to her and i just wanted to shout her name to see if i can get a reaction but i wasn't trying to you know fuck up the vibes and shit like that but um yeah i'm very proud of how far hers came in her career and she makes very dope music so if any of y'all like r&b definitely tap in with her you feel me definitely tap in with her you're gonna fuck with her um other music that came out a lesser known act but somebody also in the um r&b realm that y'all should fuck with this artist who goes by the name D Gotti, D E E G A T T I. Yo, they make fire ass music, bro. Is it group? Nah, I just don't know uh, what they identify as. <laughs> but um, yeah, they make some fire ass music. You feel it's just one person. Um, they came out with an. I think it's an EP. I don't think they're calling it an album. Uh, but they came out with an EP called uh, Just Called to Say. Definitely uh, go ahead and listen to that shit. One of the songs is going to be my vibe of the week this week. So definitely make sure you go ahead and listen to that. That is some very smooth R&B. And if you know the type of R&B I like, it's some toxic R&B as well. You feel me? We love that type of music. Uh, what else dropped? Culture. No, not Culture. Migos dropped the, day, the deluxe um, version of Culture 3. I think they dropped that version um, just to compete with me uh polo g since his album came out the same week but polo g was still able to go number one so shout out to him you feel me polo g was able to go number one with um his album hall of fame let's make sure y'all go check all of that out and besides that i don't think much other new music has um come out does anybody else got some music they want to promote doesn't have to be new but uh, anybody else drop that people should look out for <clears throat> this new song uh gallus by capella gray hold on hold on oh, clear your yeah. throat real quick I mean, clear your throat a, that's a big that's a banger gallus yeah gallus gallus uh-huh g-y-a-l-i-s by capella gray okay the song goes it's off true. vibes yes. vibes okay i need to update my vibes list anybody else got some vibes people should like check out for um west side by ariana grande Hey, okay. Yeah, okay, yo, Ariana Grande. Ah, oh, we don't got time. That's Damn, I want to talk so much about Ariana Grande. It should remind me to talk about this next time we get a chance to talk about <laughs> this. But I, at some point, want to break down the fact how Ariana Grande was able to go from Nick Teen Child Star yep. to one of the biggest 
she pop stars off. in the world and she's talking about fucking i want to i want to at some point just break all of that down but we'll talk about that in a future episode mm. but yeah um make sure y'all go check out that new music um in terms of new music from mass i can't really think of that much um millie's dropped a new song with asian doll but you know millie's has been on a kill streak for a while now yeah um, the whole hood out yesterday or two days ago you, you know what made me sick about that shit bro you want to know what I made no me invite. really sick about i mean yeah i know i know okay. i wasn't getting an invite because you know nah, them niggas are older but what had me sick about that was one i was at work when that went down but two that shit happened right by my crib Say boys that shit happened at showcase cinema and revere bro yeah, nah, niggas i was fucked. sick my nigga. i was like wait wait y'all did that Nigga, all my niggas was out there nigga. and I'm like, bro, I can't get they attached. All the hip hop, all the Boston hip hop artists out there, all them niggas were out there. And I'm like, damn. Now one day I could have been out of work. I could have ah uh, networked like crazy, but it's all good. It's all good. Alright, word. So uh this has been a dope conversation. Shout out to the both of y'all for yeah, pulling thank up. You for coming, let's guys. get into our reality okay. checks and then we can end with our vibes of the week. Cool. Um let's see. Who wants Okay, Amani, go ahead and start off. Normally, Rich starts off. But yeah, Amani, go ahead and start oh. off for us for reality checks. Oh, oh, reality checks. Reality checks, yes. Hey. Of course, we bet. Okay. And then we'll go to sit after and then Toy yelled at me. Um, whatever energy, no, let me know. Yeah, whatever energy you want from a person, make sure you give that shit back to the same person. Don't keep expecting stuff from people if you're not going to come up with it straightforward. It's not going to work out. You're going to end up looking like a dumbass, and it's just going to end up wasting people's time. So always come with the energy that you speak of or don't come up, don't say anything at all. That's it. Quick question. If somebody just wants to fuck, how should they communicate that? So respectfully. Like that. Respectfully. Respectfully. Because if I just come out and say, yo, I'm trying to fuck, that sounds wild so how can somebody say that respectfully to you i want to know from the women how can someone say that to you and communicate that to y'all i feel like for me like you can't just say it off rip but like allow a conversation to go and then throw it in there like i feel like if the energy is full if the energy is flowing okay, so well energy enough gotta be there Word. It, it can go there but if you just if you're not doing it the way you need to do it then it's not it's not it's not gonna work out for you it's not what about you? I think that like, well, one definitely don't say like, be like, don't, yeah. just, like have yeah. that conversation in person. Yep. Um, and you don't have to, just because like y'all having sex doesn't mean like you have to be rude. Like you don't have to kick them out after. No. Nope. Y'all can still hang out and all that, but it's I've just like you just before. know we're not going anywhere emotionally. Wow. But um, most of the time it's just like y'all slow down, y'all have a conversation, and just be transparent and like, I want to be single and. I like I want to keep getting to know you and and having sex with you and doing what we're doing, but I just don't want to be in a relationship. Just no, but I'm there. I'm saying I if y'all have, even haven't even had like sex yet, if somebody yeah, so if you, somebody just be like, yo, just be I like, want to, but how do they communicate? Then just be that like, to you? I don't want a relationship with you, but I do want to have sex. And I've had you know I've had know. situations like that, and it's like I don't take any, but it's also. You need to be dealing with mature women yeah. mm -hmm. because some people be like, oh, they ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, but would you have rather them did that after the fact? Yeah. Be clear mm -hmm. with your intentions and give somebody the opportunity to take it or leave it. There are some women that be like, all right, bet. Me too. And there'll be other people be like, mm, no, that's I'm not okay. really what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're dealing with mature people who know how to communicate and be like, listen, I want to be honest with you. I just want to have sex. Do not go wine and dine somebody and do the most. <laughs> yep. Having them thinking it's about to be something that it's not. Yeah, facts. Go link with them. It's a summertime. Go go grab ice cream. Go chill by the beach and be like, yeah, you're mad cool. No bullshit. Like, I'm trying to fuck, but I don't want a relationship, though. I just want to be honest. For you, they got you. The, for you, they got to include the I don't want a relationship part. Yes. yes, you have to make that. I mean, nah, like and for me, because I'm thinking, like, yo, not, if I, I just see somebody I'm attracted you. to, it's just straight off. Yo, I'm trying to fuck. That's it. I'm not, relationship's not anywhere in the conversation, but I just like, yo, you're cute. I'm trying to fuck. But, it, it's just but if for, I just say it like that, that might sound wild. It's just clear communication. Like, I don't want to no relationship with you, at all. with you. Because this is another thing. Because I have told people, like, I don't want a relationship with you. And yes. when I go deal with somebody else, to be like, I thought you didn't want I don't want a relationship with you. you. Mm. That doesn't mean I don't want a relationship. I don't want a relationship with you. I don't want to date you. Okay. But I might want to date with somebody But talking about a relationship is necessary. You need to bring it up and make it clear. Because sometimes they'll be like, oh, 
don't be like, oh, I'm trying to go with the flow. You're lying. No, you ain't whoa. Going with the flow. Why does like I going? Hate when y'all I know, say no, no. That, my bro. thing is, is like, that's the worst no, 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 no. Ever, I'm not talking honestly. about like, it yo, really talking about a relationship or going with the flow. I'm talking just about like, yo, mm-hmm. randomly, yo. If I was just scrolling through my phone one day. And I'm just like, oh, shorty's bad. I kind of want to pipe, but I can't just say that because that sounds crazy. Start a conversation. I can't like, no, no, but I'm saying like, I'm not going to be like, yo, if I see a shorty that I think is attractive and I literally just want to pipe and I want her to know that, I'm not going to be like, yo, I don't want a relationship, but I'm trying to pipe. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you I'm just coming off. No, 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 but I feel like if I'm just coming that. off like that, if, I feel like if I'm coming off like that, you in your mind shouldn't go to thinking about I'm trying to look for a relationship. Because if I just come up and the first thing I say is, yo, I'm trying to pipe, you should already know off the jump, if that's what I say first, I'm not looking for a relationship. That's how I see it. That, so that I feel like is, I shouldn't have to true, say that should oh, never come so first, though. That, that should never come first. It depends on the situation. It's just because it's like, I feel you. Know, you. you don't want to be rude, so you of shouldn't course. be just hitting someone up, like yep. blah blah blah. But after y'all go hang out, mm-hmm. y'all might be thinking, or she might be heard, oh, he's mad cool. Like we're gonna get to know each other. It's like we're actually not, because no. I just want to have sex. And that's why I said you should be clear that it's like I'm being nice to you because I'm being respectful, but I don't want to be with you though. That's heard. So nobody heard. Nobody mm-hmm. got hurt feelings. No okay. local loopholes, no Like, we're, we could kick it and we could laugh and all that, but I, I just don't no want to be with you, though. Okay. And that's why you say the no relationship. Because yep. by then, if you be respectable, then you already hung out a little bit and respectful. had a conversation. You know? Okay. And, and she really that. hit the nail with the with the mature woman. Because mm-hmm. an immature woman is going to take that and be like, oh, why don't you want to be in a relationship? No, a mature woman is going to be like, okay, cool. This is what we discussed anyway. This I respect you for letting me know. And keep it pushing. And respectfully That's decline it. or respectfully Heard. accept your offer. I, okay. That's it. I hear what both of y'all are saying. I was just thinking in the back of my mind, because I'm like, yo, imagine if in my life any shorty that I've been with, I had to start the conversation with, I'm not trying to be in a relationship. If I had to start that conversation with that every single time, no, I probably wouldn't be dealing with that. Why would you? you, can't like, why would you? you can't That's what I'm saying. Why would you start it with that? Like, oh, yeah, like, like, why would I not be like, hi, money? I you know think you're attractive. Well, like, I'm trying yeah. to fuck, but I no don't bullshit. want to I'm relationship. trying to bleep. You don't. That's <laughs> the what's fuck? like you don't do it. <laughs> no, you don't, don't do even it. Sound it's right, usually my just nigga. like the energy's flowing. Like you, you can feel like you can feel her energy coming off. Like oh, you know, maybe, maybe she's yeah, feeling me so too. Like, and then you just throw it out there. If it doesn't work out, it don't work out. Y'all already ask bitches that go out and they still dub you. So what's the difference from asking her for poom? But you it's also don't shit. have to say I don't want to be. You can also <laughs> be like, it's the same shit. You could be like, I'm just trying to be. You could be like, I'm trying to be single, like whatever. But it's like y'all should start the conversation. Some people will be like, oh, like, well, what do you, what do you want out of this? Or you know? Yeah. Because they might say like, I don't know, I don't really want a relationship, and you be like, bet, I don't even got to say that part. It'd be like, ooh, well, I still want to. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like this is why me and randoms never work out because the ones I do know, the ones I actually get to know, they already know the vibes and I never have to have that conversation. So I feel you. But I feel you. I feel you. Um, I bet. I think we were in reality check. Sid, you're next. And then we'll go to Toyo right Mm -hmm. afterwards. Thank you for answering that question for me, ladies. I appreciate that. I feel like my reality check is money comes and goes. You know what I mean? This this is kind of like multifaceted. So one, like on on a relationship um, perspective, because we've been talking about that, like, Money is not impressive, you know what I mean? Because mm. nobody ever knows where it comes from, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could easily get cash up three bins if I if I need my niggas to, you easily, know what I'm saying? my nigga. Right? I could be like, yeah, I could take so-and-so out on a crazy date, do this, that, and the third. Like, money comes and goes. Mm-hmm. You, from, you could gamble. That nigga could have been in a casino before and been like, yeah, let me take you to Encore, get a, grab a room. That nigga could hit on $1,000 before you got there. You would never know. Mm-hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So... Be Even showing outside of that, the world like, with a nice view of Everett. Go, but go ahead. But yeah, like, I mean, like, someone putting, like, financial backing behind you, that's cool and all, you know what I mean? But if your actions towards that person don't back that, this slow on a relationship perspective. On, like, a life perspective, it's like, I would say that Wherever you're at financially, you know what I mean? Things can get better if you put yourself in a position to get better. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really want to focus and be like, all right, I want this for myself. Let me budget myself correctly so I can get to this point. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If that means I got to dub a couple opportunities or I got to, you know, decline a couple 
you know, hangouts, meets, whatever. So be it. I have a goal in mind. Keep your goals in mind. Put yourself ahead of other people's. Like, one of my good friends, you know, shout out to Nisha, because she really puts this in my head. Like, when you're on a plane, the first thing they say is like, oh, if this, if this shit were to go crash, the first thing you do when the oxygen mask comes down is, is save yourself. Because you can't save nobody without saving yourself. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So with that same, in that same respect, like, money comes and goes. Take care of yourself first before you go and take care of other people. You know what Word. I'm saying? So. Word. All right. Toya, how about you? Um, I'll definitely say, like, don't deal with anyone that makes you feel hard to like or hard to love. Because I've definitely learned that, like, people will make it seem like you're asking for a lot when you're not, not asking for anything at all. And so I feel like it's just important to, like, make sure that you find people that match you, match your energy, and don't make make you feel like what you're asking for is ever too much no matter what it is you're asking for like mm-hmm. find people who fit you and and make you feel like you're you're easy to love like you're not hard to love word okay <clears throat> and then for my reality check my reality check to the people will be to um never lose sight of who you are or where you want to go in life and that could mean a lot of things, but with me, I feel like I'm in a situation or in the position where I'm making a lot of decisions for myself and those decisions may affect other people, but I have to make those decisions to better myself in the long run. Now, those decisions may not benefit other people, but it's what I have to do to push myself um, further than where I'm at right now. And it's really important to uh, know when you have to make those type of decisions, because when you're in my position and you have a lot of people depending on you, um, sometimes you feel like you want to put things for yourself on the back burner to benefit other people or you have things that you want to do. But if you were to do those things, other me other people um, might get hurt in the process, so you decide not to do those things. But I really believe if you continue to do those things, you're only pushing yourself back. And everyone that's depending on you, they're looking for you to supply them with these things that they can't really give to themselves. And they're just not going to be able to get a period. But instead of sacrificing everything um, that you have been working so hard to build up to, you have to get them to understand that, hey, yo, you're in this spot. I get it. You want me to get you out of this spot? I get it. But I got some things that I got to do first before I make that my priority. You have you should make yourself your priority. Nobody has to live your life but you. Nobody has to go through your everyday drama, your everyday problems, your everyday situations. Nobody has to deal with that shit but you. And like Sid was saying earlier, you can't be a help to anybody if you're just not here at all. So definitely take care of yourself, make yourself a priority, and do everything that you need to push yourself forward before taking on everyone else's problems and everybody else's situations. Because, hey, you can't help anyone if you're not you or you're not here. So definitely make sure you take care of yourself first. All right? That's my reality check. <laughs> and, yeah, oh that's pretty much gosh. been the end. Of, that's pretty much the end of the episode. <laughs> Yo, the guitar is all you need. You feel me? A lot of smooth shit. Uh, yo, you want to know what's crazy, my nigga? You want to know what's really crazy? And, yo, Cat hates me because it's time for us to leave. And I'm going to get out of here pretty soon. But you want to know what's really crazy? I was just scrolling through my socials one day. And my brother followed me on Apple Music. So I followed him back. Oh, my God. And I found his sex playlist. He won't know it's crazy. That nigga got joints on there. As <laughs> that nigga got joints. Oh, on. As As I, thought he was gonna I was like, hey, I thought he was going to say it looks like Richie's playlist. Oh. <laughs> I just want to be like a whole bunch of little dirt. Yeah. <laughs> I was that would be sick. Uh, Could you imagine? Amani, if- I found your playlist too, but we'll talk about that mm. next time. You feel me? <laughs> All right, you've been listening to the Urban Product. It's been your boy, DME. It's been your girly body. <laughs> It's fucking big budget, man.
Say girl to a again. <laughs> we will catch y'all next week. <laughs> 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 Wait, what did you name it, sis? I don't even remember. I don't know what that's about. Oh